can disconnect. Okay, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a PowerPoint that I've kind of put together um, as I've gathered information. Um, and um, Bobby has done a great deal of uh, genealogy and I'm really kind of new at all this. So uh, just to try to get some information down, um, I'm gonna go back to, I think it's the 23rd great grandfather but a lot of this old way back is just, it's not verified. I just found a trail and I just kept going with it, but they don't have any resources attached to it. So it doesn't prove their birth. It doesn't prove their marriage. A lot of things it does not, it does not prove. So that's, you know, eventually I'll get to that. Um, so, uh, well, I want to kind of kind of go through that kind of quickly. And then uh, where I'd like to really, focus is from, um, let's see, Lazarus, maybe starting at Lazarus, um, he, he, Lazarus and then Lazarus Jr. Jr. came over to the United States. So kind of slow down a little bit at that point. But then once we get to our families, our mothers and fathers, and, uh, and what things that we think Jane might under, remember, then that's where, you know, we really want to gather the, you know, the important information well, for us. I saw one thing I thought was wrong. Evelyn and Lockie and Matthew were his half brothers and sisters, not his step brothers and sisters. Oh, okay, good, good. Okay, What's thank you. What's the difference in half? What's the difference they in half? They have the same father, if they're half. Right, right. Step means they don't oh, have- Oh, they're not even blood related. Right. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So that would be um, paths, not not steps. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Thanks, Jane. Okay, so I'm going to share. Um, but he's on the other side. He's the half. What? He's, he's half the Hadley. No, he's. His mother. He's his mother. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm trying to sort out what the difference between half and step. So I, I'm slow. You have to spell things out. <laughs> <laughs> I, and Bobby knows exactly how to do it because he started giving me examples. So <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Bob, Bobby's the expert on this, so yes. So I don't know and if it's. I'm an well, you've had quite a bit of experience. Okay. Yeah. So experts to me are people that know what they don't know. And he, <laughs> he lives in that world. So as you can see, our 24th, it's the 24th, I guess. So our 24th supposedly great-grandfather is the last name one Lowry. It's interesting. So if you go through here, McLaurin, McLaurin, um, and then hey, it, Julie, uh -huh. could you go into presentation mode? Oh, you can't see this? It's a little bit. No, I, can, I can see it, but it's not oh, big yeah. enough. Click on slideshow. It's the little screen icon up at the top. Yeah, my, yeah, that's to the, the yeah. left. There you go. Okay. Or that works. That works. There we go. Thank you. Beautiful. Much better. Thank you. Okay, so as you can see, our 20th, or, you know, McLaurin's, um, then it gets down to Dougal that brings in the Lowry. So, I, you know, again, this is not, you know, confirmed, but it, it's interesting. <laughs> At least to me, it is. So, Julie, can I ask a question? Sure. What what do you think? So the twenty fourth. What do you think the time frame is? Would that be like twelve something? Must be because John Chief was born in thirteen hundred. Now whether that's thirteen hundreds or thirteen hundred, I you know, and then the death says fourteen hundred. So I imagine that's just the thirteen hundreds. But uh -huh. yeah, I couldn't find any specific dates for those guys. But yeah, I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> Working backwards from Malcolm, I, I doubt there is 97 years between 21 and 22, uh, 21 and 20. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And some of these, so, I, I it's went It's probably back. in the 60s, maybe, or maybe even later than that. Yeah. 
some of these I went back and I compared when their son was born and when they were died and and they or maybe born and there was you know there wasn't much difference in numbers so I think a couple of them were like supposedly by the dates if I was doing it correctly was like um they were only 14 years old when they had their son so which you know I guess back then it could have happened you know but uh so, and then stuff I have in red or stuff that, you know, I had conflictions on, on the compared uh, ancestry versus family search. And then the very last one down here, we see different names, John, John, Charles, and then of course, different spellings of Lowry. And I can send this uh, PowerPoint uh, once we go through all this and make, I, I want to make uh, corrections that anybody brings up, then, then um, I can send everybody this uh, PowerPoint. That'd be great. And then here's the James Law, uh, Lazarus Lowry. And then, um, so he had uh, Lazarus Jr. And he's the one that came over in... Um, 1729 and was evidently quite influential. Um, he was an Indian trader, as you can see there. He was killed by French sympathi uh, sympathizing Indian who set a powder keg on fire next to him. <laughs> um, and they had, um, well, y'all kind of read through that, and it, you know, if you have any questions or not that I could answer them, but I kind of read through that. Okay, is everybody, can we move on? Yeah, that's interesting. Any, everybody okay? Yep. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and then here's James Michael Lowry, Lazarus' son, um, Mary, well, y'all read through that too. I don't need to reiterate what y'all can read. What's the weird chew call naller on? Was that an Indian name? Well, he died in the Cherokee Nation, so maybe he took Ooh. on that name. Okay, okay. That's up, yeah. Yeah, that's what she was saying. He died in the Cherokee Nation, so that must have been the Chukalawa. Chukalawa. So using the term Indian trader, what exactly does that mean? Um, I was reading, I think something you sent me, Bobby, today, I was reading that family tree there and they were talking about, they were mainly <coughs> farmers, uh, but they also did fur trading. 
Hmm. And I even in that one article that Bobby sent me, uh, they talked about having trading posts too. So, um, which I've got on the screen also and can send to everyone too, where it talks about that. You were talking about uh, Indian traders. You get down to Alexander Lowry. That's what I was looking for. You said the possible uncle was the father of Sequoia, who was Nathaniel Gist, married to Mary Howard. Uh, they they had, uh, from what I can read, a lot of uh, interaction with the Indians. And with that, when the white man, I guess you would call him at that point, wanted to, to trade with the Indians. They used people like that that had relationships with the Indians. And that's yeah. probably what that Indian trader was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of controversy about who actually Sequoia's father was, but um, right. it sounds pretty possible from what I yeah. have seen. You too, Bobby, right? I, I'm very plausible. Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody knows who Sequoia is, right? I don't. He was a Cherokee Indian, and he uh, created the alphabet for the Cherokees. He was very <laughs> influential. Uh, that's one thing that I know of. And Bobby, can you add anything to that? Oh. Uh, <clears throat> That's why I just did a Google search on him real quick. Uh, he was a scholar, Native American, created the alphabet for, for his tribe, who was the Cherokee. Uh, it's, this says, uh, this advancement helped thousands of Cher Cherokee become literate, helped them write. It was a written alphabet where a lot of what they did was, was spoken. Uh, his father was Nathaniel Gist, and I mean, if you look in a lot of the encyclopedias, uh, I believe it puts his his mother at uh, uh, Mary, which would match the family tree information that we have. Okay. Yeah, and I've also read that the Sequo uh, Sequoias in California were named after him. But then again, there's a lot of controversy about that. So, cause it's totally spelled totally different, but. Okay, ready to move on? Yep. Okay, and uh, here's Mark Perry, William Barger and Mark Lowry II. And it's interesting that they had Mark Perry's wedding rings out there. I, you know, it's like, okay. <laughs> but that's what I found. Now, whether those are legit or not, who knows? But I'll let y'all read. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then this gets to where 
our granddaddy Lowry was born. And this is where Jane was talking about Evelyn and Lockie and Mally Ruth and William and Matthew were half half brothers and sisters, not step. I remember my mother saying Willet Lowry. Lived in Nashville on Granny White. Hmm. Okay. And she showed me the house. Whether it's still there or not, I have no idea. That, that was where, Jane? Willet E. She was a brown. And she would live where? She lived off Granny on Granny White in Nashville. Okay. If that helps any. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I ever stumble on it, yeah. Uh, okay. So, Jane, do you remember any of these? I mean, you remember Evelyn and Lockie, right? Remember these? Do hmm. you, you remember any of these? No, I didn't ever know any of these. No, not really. Did you not meet Lockie? Uh, yeah, I knew Lockie and Evelyn. And I thought that Mally Ruth lived to be two, but apparently not. I did not, do not remember Matthew. But Lockie and Evelyn were in Arizona with us. Okay, can you uh, tell us a little more about that? Because I remember Bobby sent me a, a video where you were talking about y'all lived with, was it Evelyn for a while? When y'all moved there? Evelyn, a lot of this, as I understand it, came out of Evelyn's family Bible. She had the family Bible. I saw it one time in Arizona. But it, apparently it got lost somewhere. I have no idea. I never so, saw it after I moved back here. So when you moved out there, did you live with Evelyn? Yeah. In the same house. Okay. Evelyn and Francis and Leroy. Leroy. The, yeah, and and uh, her when Francis got married, oh, okay. I stood up with her. It was a very there small Leroy family too, wedding. Yeah. yeah. What is it? So I see Evelyn and Fran and Leroy. Where's Francis, because that's it. Francis everyone's... is her only child. Oh, okay. Lockie right. had no children. Okay. And Francis, Evelyn lived with Francis in San Diego for many years before Evelyn died. I don't know what happened to Lockie. Where she was still in Yuma when I went out there for my 35th reunion. And I graduated from out there in 56. So it would have been in 80. And she got me all sorts of information tied up with people out there. But I have since, it's since gone. <laughs> what year did y'all move to Yuma? What year did you move to Yuma? You were eight. I was eight years old. I was in third grade. And that's not according to the days. Forty, maybe what forty six? Yeah, that was after Daddy lost his job at Cortland Air Base here in Alabama because the war was over, and so he inspected planes. Can I text you and you type this in there? Yeah. He inspected planes, and after the war was over, they closed the base, so he was without work. So he, Leroy got him a job 
working for the uh, agriculture. And uh, so we moved out there. We drove out there and I guess we didn't have any, anything much. I don't know if we had a trailer or with us or not, but we didn't have much of anything anyway, so. Now, what year was that, Jane? 40, what year was that? 46? 46. 46. Yeah, about 46. In November. We went in November. Okay, what did he do for the uh, agricultural department? He or... worked in agriculture. He worked out in the fields a lot. Okay. And he, he would, they would irrigate and everything else. And he used to carry his lunch to work. And uh, he carried hot coffee every day. And some days it was 110 and 115, and he only ate in the, in the, in the shade of his pickup truck. That was it. Yeah, but he drank that hot coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found that he worked for the Bureau of Reclamation and Soil Research. So he worked for the Department of Agriculture, which did experimental stuff out there. And I did some work for them too, when I got up to be getting ready to go off to school and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I didn't do, I didn't go out in the fields. I did things like analyze corn and stuff like that, that they brought in. Oh, cool. But in, in the summer, usually he would he would find something to do inside when it was really, really hot. Yeah. Okay, and then here's some information on them. Um, so Mama Lowry passed away. She was in Nashville, right? Do you want me to send them? <clears throat> Who was in Nashville? Hold on. When Mama Lowry died, yeah, she was in Nashville. Well, I don't know. I don't know that it was Nashville proper. Um, it may be in a suburb, right? Where Where was the home that Granny lived, Gran? It was in Gallatin. Was it, it was, in Gallatin? It was right. outside, six miles outside of Gallatin. And the last time we were up there, it was called Chocolate Covered Strawberry. No, 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 no. When she passed away, where was the home, the nursing home that Granny lived in? Was it in Madison? I thought yeah. it was in Madison. It was in yeah, Madison. Yeah, it was in Madison. Jackson, I think, Jackson I Park. I don't know the link. I just... Email it. Email it. No, click on Lowry right there. Sorry about that. We're trying. I'm trying to send the link to the website where all my information is too. Oh, okay. And I've got. Um, let's see. That's it. Just copy that. I'm gonna put this in the chat if you want to open it this, and look this at. This is this is what you. It's is this what you're talking about, Bobby? Let me. I'm, Hold on. Let's get that pulled back. I, I've got Zoom again. It loves to hide. <laughs> I, I'm seeing. Is that that's not yours? That's no, that's, that's hers. hers. I think you're. I'm gonna put it in the chat. Oh shoot! What did I do? <coughs> I put it in the chat. If you want to pull the chat up, there's a link to to my website that's got Lowry information on it. So there's pictures and a... I should have brought a mouse. I couldn't have, I wouldn't have to hover in front of the camera. <laughs> I was the only one of mother's children born in the hospital. Hmm. Okay. I was born at Vanderbilt Hospital in Nashville. I was a seven month baby. I oh, weighed wow. five pounds. And that's probably why I was born in the hospital. Was they were afraid they would lose me. Yeah. I was the only little girl in Vanderbilt Hospital. All of them were little boys but me. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Mama Lowry and Papa Lowry, they married in 1918. 
So was that after, because the war didn't, we didn't get into the war till, First World War till after 18, wasn't it? 17 or 18, it says right there, drafted. So did they get married before he went into the service, I guess, huh? Do you know, Jane? Mother's family was in, in Davidson. Well, they were in Summer, Summer County. Well, she, she's saying that they married in August of 1918, but the draft shows 17 to 18. Do you know which of those happened first? Was he drafted before they got married or after? I always thought that he got out of the service before he got married because he said the service was, the, the army was no place to raise a family. It says the First World War started 1914 and it ended 1918. Okay, I was thinking it started 19. Okay. But the, the U.S. didn't join it until like 17 or, I mean, it was much later when the U.S. Later. joined it. Yeah. You're right. And that right. picture that you have there of Mark Lowry III, that's actually a picture of Mark Lowry Sr. Okay. I'll make that correction. I've got, the, I've got an original that I scanned and it's handwritten in, isn't that your mama's handwriting? No, I think that's mine. Is that what the pictures of I sent you? I think you're right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Maybe. Okay. I'll make that. The correct. picture on the right, I believe, is correct. But that would be a grandfather's picture, not not a. No, Mark. it wasn't Mark Lowry the third. Right. It actually wasn't Mark Lowry the second either. No, it's senior. That's will be his, the first. Mm -hmm. Mark Lowry senior. He was senior and then junior was was Mark. Junior, because yeah. they had no middle names. Okay. So this is the house where they lived in uh, Yuma. Oh, uh, we didn't live in this house when we moved to Arizona. You met, lived with Evelyn, right? We lived in a house that had been homesteaded when we moved in and then it had been added on to. It had uh, a, a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, two bedrooms and a bathroom in between the two bedrooms. Now, Evelyn and Leroy lived in what was originally the uh, dining room. Mom and daddy lived in what was a bedroom. And Francis and I lived in the other bedroom on the back of the house. Uh, these people, the people who had had lived across the street, the older lady who had who had homesteaded that land, and I, I'm not sure it's even there anymore. It it, it was in. Do really you remember the address of it? No, not really. I used to, I used to think it was 310 something, but I couldn't find it when we were out there last time. So those pictures don't seem to, well, maybe That's, it's been a Then we moved into it. that when I went into high school. Maybe this chimney and things have been added to this house. Where? That's the house that I see on Zillow. That. All that has been added. Yeah. Yeah, everything from here over looks like the chimney. It's got a weird chimney and then a carport. And the, it looks like the carport's been closed in and turned into the that's the window they're showing. All that other has been added. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. If I click on this Zoom, uh, uh, this Zillow, I don't know if y'all can see it's it. So you, you, you may have to share that out. I don't know how. You may have to either drag it to the screen. Or it, it probably Zillow, uh, not Zillow. Z Zoom probably is only sharing the the, the PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Yeah, I don't know how to do that then. But if we still see PowerPoint. If anybody, yeah, wants now you can now you can click, and that's exactly 
I saw it there for a second when you did the whatever the control tab or whatever you did shift tab. Can y'all see it, it now? No. Mm -mm. Well, y'all can cry. Uh, well, it'll be well, on the. I don't I ever remember my looked, have mama working in retail dry goods. I don't ever the, remember mama doing anything. That's what the 1950 census says. Yeah. Oh. That's not what they said she did. That's just. I do remember her working. She sewed. She made squad dresses. Oh, yeah, I remember her making retail. What is retail dry goods? She made it for somebody that made them for people. I don't know how, but that's called retail dry goods or not. I have one? one of the dresses. Oh, you still do? Oh, wow. <clears throat> I remember she made me one. It was beautiful. Turquoise and white. I still have it. I still have one. Oh, wow. I can't wear it anymore, but I'm still <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so Google says dry goods are textiles, ready-to-wear clothing, toiletries, grocery items. Yeah, okay, so it shirt. was retail. So that's just the category. Did that that when into. I was in like high school, I don't know how long before that she did. She, she came back here one time, and I tried to do it, and I couldn't do it. It was just too much, too much. Well, the, the skirts were like a pleated, right? A lot of pleats on it. The skirts were pleated. Is it the, is it the? Do yes, you have, they were pleated. Where's that dress? It's in the, let me go. No, 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 you sit there. I'll go get it. Cause I think I know what you're talking. It's kind of tan. I pink. think it's still there. Is it, which closet is it? I haven't gotten rid of it. That which is. closet? The one in the front bedroom. I, I found some um, little souvenir things from Yuma when we're cleaning out mother stuff. And I got in touch with the um, historical museum or some kind of Yuma U museum while I was there. And uh, they took them. I sent them to them for them to use as far as, you know, some of their displays of tourist <laughs> things back in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> it had it had silver rickrack and braid and all sorts of stuff like that on it. Yeah. And yes, it was, it was pleated at the cleaners. And I got back here and I couldn't get the pleating done always. So I, I never wore it after that. Of course, I got to where I couldn't wear it anyway, but. Okay, we're going to go on while we're waiting for him. Can y'all see the little box up in the corner of the um, everybody's the gallery? If not, I'm, I'm not going to move it. So here's some stuff. As again, here I've got senior the third, so I'll have to take that third out. <laughs> what was that? She's got Mark Lowry senior the third. <laughs> You have to take senior out. Yeah, That's there not it is. The there it is. So it was kind of stuck to this hanger. Can you see this? Can you see this? Yep. Can was that a no? Yes, we can see it. I can. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yep. Yeah. yep. So I'm right. gonna try to put it back on this hanger. It probably so it, the Oh, this was rusted and sticking to it. So we probably need to, I don't know if it dry cleans. I wouldn't put it in like that. Okay. I would put the clips side. back on it. Oh, it was just folded over the top and clipped. Okay, yeah. that's how it was. It had, it had kind of, and it was in a plastic bag. So yeah. I wonder if we all might send it out and get it professionally preserved. Well, I hate to tell you, but my wedding dress didn't professionally preserve it very well. Okay. And I managed to handle this for a lot longer than and that. They have, yeah. <laughs> okay. But now, who will take this? 
I, I'm not giving it to nobody. <laughs> it ain't for sale. <laughs> question. It has Mark Lowry and Haney Owen. Children, William Lowry died at age two. Where is that? That's what well, it says on, on the PowerPoint. Go, I think it might be the next slide. <clears throat> Yeah. Right there. I never heard of William Lowry. Okay, I don't. I think I got that from some of Mother's notes. Hmm. I'll go back and verify where I got that, Jane. She could put it on her other wife. <laughs> or I don't think it model would have been fit on my wife. So we'll try to get you some pictures of that dress. Okay, great. Thank you. <clears throat> and, and, and I have a question too. Uh, Richard and Rand Cranford, did she Where? change her name? Her name was Frances. Where are you talking about? Right below the pictures, the slide. Right there. Right there. The where Cranfords. You e Evelyn's daughter married Richard Cranford. I was at the wedding. I know that. <laughs> Um, yeah, additional info from guessing Evelyn's daughter, Richard and Rand Cranford. Is that, it's the second, paragraph, second kind of paragraph. It? it looks like there's an F missing. It should be Fran instead of Ran down in the second section there. Go down three lines. Right there, that line. Oh, no, oh, back down. down. Where it starts additional info from quite oh, okay. a okay. guessing Evelyn's daughter. Down, 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 down. Almost there. <laughs> there oh, right there. Okay, okay, yeah. got it. <clears throat> Some you are breaking up a little bit. I am. think it, unless unless you changed it. Unless some seventeen or sixty acres. No, that's probably just Ooh. my. It's just probably my my uh, error. Oops, sorry, sorry. Hold it on. looks like a typo. Yeah, they yeah. had three children, and I cannot remember the names anymore. So. Mark and We're becoming your proofreaders. Yes, thank you. I need it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, when I do all my typing, I always like somebody to go back and look at it. And... Now, I don't know anything about Uncle Rice and Maxie and all those others. I don't Even understand. Mississippi, all that has. But uh, anyway. But I never could find, after we were out there, let's see, that would be 35, that would be about 88. And she was still working and Evelyn lived with her and I think she did some babysitting with the kids, so, but the kids were getting up school age and everything and they later moved, I think out from where they were because they were close to she worked at a college there in San Diego and they they moved I think to La Jolla. Okay. 
So I'm, I'm going to ask this question. Do you want dirty laundry in here? Uh, oh, the only I good stuff. Has, <laughs> no, I, go ahead. I, I think not everybody has heard this story. And, and I think, especially in the day of D, DNA, DNA, because I think we may have some, some relatives that we can't figure out how to connect. Why did granddaddy not work at the company anymore? Oh, he had an affair. Uh-huh. And? With the secretary at the company. Have you heard this story? And no. Granddaddy took care of it and got, got rid of him. <laughs> yeah. So they he kept her. I, assume, I have no idea what her name is. I assume is. they paid her to take care of the child and he was fired. I don't know that there was a child. Okay. He wanted to that. marry her. They uh, said he oh, was, okay. He wanted to divorce Mama and marry her. And Granddaddy. I assume granddaddy they caught it yes. because she was pregnant, but I'm, I'm I might I don't know that it. that was the case, but okay. I do. But I do know then. that Francis and Dick were expecting when they got married. Yeah, that we, we don't have to hear their dirty wrong. <laughs> Interesting. No, I hadn't heard that story. But uh, Danny worked at Cortland Air Base because I remember he would come home once a month or so for a weekend. And I remember I was I was little. It was before I was eight, and uh, we used to play to hide Easter eggs, and we hid one in his suitcase and it didn't get found until it rotted <laughs> after he got back <laughs> to court. <laughs> oh, Funny things that we remember, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to move on to the next slide. Everybody okay? Yep. Yep. Again here, I need to get rid of the third. I assume, I assume that that may be when I came along was after that affair. That makes sense. Been a few years after that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I said there's between Dean and you, yeah, there were several, 12 years. several years. So we know where Jane was born now. I didn't know where that was. Yeah, that's Nashville. Vanderbilt, yeah. I was born at Vanderbilt Hospital. Okay. I'll have my birth certificate says that. <laughs> so everybody else was born at home, huh? Yeah. Hmm. There you go. You make it bigger. So far as I know, they were. Yeah. Uh, but I have a feeling that since I was coming early, which I was about a seven month baby, they carried her to the hospital because they were afraid of losing the baby. Yeah, Me. yeah. That's I'm, an assumption. <laughs> so we'll start with Mark Jr. He was the oldest. Um, yes. I know he had a stepson, right? Yes, named, um, what was his name? Um, Ray. So Ray Cox, probably, huh? <clears throat> 1942 to 1945, that's inspected aircraft supplies, it says so. I didn't know he was in Cortland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't Every time I drive through Cortland, if we go to Memphis or any anything in that direction, yeah. we go don't out go, 72. Don't go you drive. 55 miles an hour through there, Cortland police are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it drops to 45 and the Cortland police are, the, I always see them when I go through, but I am very religious about observing. Speed limit I, over there. I add five, but I am I'm very meticulous. And it, it is the cruise control picking that I speed. I drive past Cortland about two, Three times a month. But I always think I always think of him and there's a there's a term for the old air base down right. through there. I don't remember what they 
they don't call it an air base. It's not an airfield. They're, it may be an airport is what it says. Well, by the way, my understanding about is that that uh, when my my parents moved to Mississippi, but they lived out in the country, and the closest doctor was in Alabama. Wow! And he delivered the baby and registered it in Alabama. That was the what I thought. So Mark, Mark Jr. is listed as being born in Alabama, but he was actually born closer to, <laughs> to the was, city where the doctor was from, but he was actually in Mississippi. He was born in Mississippi, but the birth certificate shows Alabama. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Jane, do you recognize the backdrop where Mark Jr. and Richard are standing? That yeah, picture, I recognize that picture. Right yeah, sort of, sort of. You have to realize that when I was born, they were 16 and 19. So I don't remember much about them then. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Okay. Because <laughs> it was several years before I would remember anything. Right. It's no it's way. Even in those days, downtown, downtown Atlanta would have. There go back, no, go back one. Go one. back and look at that picture. Where do you think that is? Where? I bet it's on the, the farm. It's at the farm. At the farm. Okay. okay. But it's sure didn't have a G. And is that they, Georgia Tech? For Georgia they Tech. They sent themselves through through college by producing a tobacco crop. Wow. Oh wow. No, I In bet the, the geese. I bet the They geese. took out the summer. They grew oh, the shit. tobacco. They hoed the tobacco, and then that helped pay for their school. Wow. I could send uh, on to school for uh, that. <laughs> Mark Jr. went to Alabama. Oh, okay. He did not play football. They both played football in high school. Richard went to Georgia Tech. He did play football. He was a center. Oh, was he really? Yeah. He was. Now the sensor, centers are so big that... Yeah. He was never, I, I was a different game then. I it think. was a different game. He was, he was the B team, part of the B team. He was not part of the A team. So I, nosy question, and I hope this, That's I know something. Parkinson's is what he suffered with at the end of his life. Right. Did they think that was in part due to his football play? Because I think there's Somebody a has said that, 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 that that's part of why Parkinson's come I always felt or like that, it was a, for that time that they lived in Oak Ridge before there was any, they lived a long time in Oak Ridge before there was any, they were even careful with the comic energy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, I, I don't think we attribute okay. the Parkinson's to anything in okay. particular. It's, I'm not sure. I can tell you that Laura Ann died on November 18th. You know, there's no way of knowing. Laura, say what you were saying again. Laura, Laura Ann's death is November 18th, 1994 in Memphis, Tennessee. Okay, thanks. Okay. And where is she buried? She's buried in um, uh, in Nashville at the... Um, the one in Madison. It's in Madison. Yeah. It? No, is it's in Nashville. It's in uh, Nashville. It's the... I should remember the name of it. It's where my parents are buried, too. Okay. Okay, well... Let's see. Um, I can, you go almost past it, going, uh, Ella Lee and Richard are both buried there. Is it Laura Ann, I think? Okay. Yes. Okay. That's something count, something Hill. Count. It's the one, the, um, Aren't there the one that goes by Opera Land on, goes right past it. Yeah. yeah. It's on Gallatin Road. The name and that is Gallatin Road. What's Ricky? Gallatin Ricky Road, Ricky? Riley Parkway. Gallatin yes. Road at Riley Parkway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought there were civil war graves in that. And, and I, I think part of it is a military cemetery, isn't it? Across, and it may no, be that's across on the, the street. other side of the road. Yeah, yeah it's on the other side of the street. Okay, that may be a different cemetery. So does anybody know all the, all the people in the wedding picture? I said, no, dad is to the left and Richard. Yeah, yeah, well, that's, um, so Walter is, my mother's sister, Walter is on the right. Her brother, Walter, is on the right. Her sister, Laura, 
is second. And then of course the two of them and um, uh, Mark, I'm sorry. Dad, I'm Mark, yeah. Yeah, your father, both of you, your father is was the right. best man. Right. And so their last, Laura, was, was Laura married at the time? Laura was never married. Oh, okay. And Walter, so her last name is? Freed. Um, Freed, yeah. Okay, Walter Freed. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this is how I remember Richard here. Both of these pictures, these are great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, then we go. I just, I just remember him sitting with him, with Richard in their house in Atlanta when I was in school over there and we were watching and it was, it was probably some science television show. And, uh, and I, 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 actually I don't remember what it was, but every time a commercial would come on, he'd turn the television down, he'd mute it, <laughs> and we'd talk. And then when the commercial went away, he'd turn it back on and we'd watch. And, <laughs> and I've never watched television like that with anybody else. They would go to the trouble to mute it every time the commercials came on. So. It's controlling the advertising. Well, he, I, he, he didn't have any use for it, so he just, he, I'm just gonna mute it and have my conversation. <laughs> Loretta. Yeah. Do you remember when we came down, our family came down to Atlanta, we went to an amusement park and it came a raining real bad and it flooded everything out and flooded it, flooded the car as well. Do you remember that? I, now that you mentioned it, I do, yeah. <laughs> that was something I never forgot. Yeah. Yeah, coming how, back to the car. How deep was the water? Pretty deep. I mean, it, 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 it rose in the car a little ways. So it's pretty deep. Over the wow. tires, anyway. Wow. What age were you, Ricky? I remember coming down and going to the top of that mountain with the with the carving on the side. Stone, Stone mountain. mountain. And somebody dropped a picture over that the fence. That was me, and Daddy went over to get it. And he <laughs> went over the fence and got it. <laughs> I was so terrified afterwards. I was just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> He said, I'll go get it if you want me to. And I was like, okay. <laughs> what is Richard's middle name? Owen. Owen. Okay. That's uh, a familiar name to you. Yeah. But I was looking here, it says Richard B. Uh, he has a, online, it's, it's his wrong. grandson's named Owen. Yeah. I have a grandson named Owen. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Trixie's, Trixie's son is Owen. Yep. But my daughter-in-law named him Owen and had no idea of it was a family name being. Oh wow! I think you know, it was I a know. Family on her side too, wasn't it? Mm -mm. No, she no, just. Wade, it. Wade was a family. Name. Okay. You know, Kathy's grandson is named uh, Alistair Wade because oh, Wade Alistair. is a name on the daddy's yeah. side, and it's also a name yeah. on our side. So. Yeah. Right. All these old names show back up sooner or later. Well, it's point. true. I actually have two friends with grandsons named Owen. And ah. it's not for anybody. It's popular, yeah. popular right now. Popular. Nice yeah. name. Popular yeah. Wood. Okay. Spring Hill Cemetery. That's what it is. Okay, I knew it would come. Spring Hill oh, Cemetery yeah. in Nashville. <laughs> Did you have to look it up or it came to mind? No, when I stop thinking about things, they pop up. So that's interesting that um, your father is Henry, but he went by Martin. Yeah, because his dad, they called him Henry. Huh. And I believe his gravestone says Henry M. Hmm. I like this picture on the bottom left that shows all the ladies and the kids. Jane, do you know where that might be of taken? Um, picture where's that? Where's this? What? With with Mama Lowry 
and Mother Dean and Jane? Yeah, this was probably in Yuma. Okay. I can't say. Yeah. There's a, it looks like there's a barn in the background right here. Then that's not Yuma. Yeah. That may have been up at Granny's. Okay. Since there's that many of us there. But I don't ever remember there being, con is that, con oh, it may just be a Brass. gravel gravel drive over there. It looks like a curb, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like curb. And I, I was like, she didn't have, I mean, there was a gravel drive there. Mm -hmm. But there were from a lot of families there. And that really, I don't think we were ever all in Yuma at the same time. So yeah. that would be more likely to be at Granny's. It, it, it does kind of look like you're looking back along the road um, in the direction of the road down the field. Not it probably us. out closer to the flagpole. Yeah. Because there was not shade there. Yeah. And there's some kind of shadow in the corner there that looks yeah. like. Mm -hmm. Could be another car or something there. Yeah, it could. There's I don't that, between cars. knowing where the house was. But there was a barn. I mean, that's back towards the direction of the house where you grew up in. Yeah. I think. yeah. And there was a barn out in that field. Well, no, actually, looking back toward the back, to, toward where the silo was. Oh, Maybe if the, the silo, silo was, was to the here. left. Okay. And looking back, and I guess the river's back there now, but it, or the, the lake's back there now. I don't think the lake ever got that far over. Okay. Okay. I don't, I always heard people talk about it being back there. I have no idea it, how far away it, it was. It was pretty far back. Yeah. Okay, some possible identifications here also of the wedding picture. Does anybody know? See Richard on the right, and Susan's the flower girl. And Dean and Ken, but I don't know the other three. The other two, yeah, the other three people. Nor do I. And Susan's just a little one, so I doubt Jane's going to remember any of these. Ricky, this, so I found. Some of this information where whatever information sources I found for Barry Carruthers. Are there any Barry Carruthers in the family that you know of? Doesn't is, ring a bell. Okay. Is that, is, is that the one that's, that's now the chocolate strawberry? Yeah, that's the one that's the front of So them. that's the house. The picture on the right is in front of the house um, outside of Gallatin. Yes, mm -hmm. where my folks live. Yeah, right next to the farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, it's a restaurant now it, called the Chocolate Strawberry. Chocolate covered strawberry. Chocolate covered strawberry. Or it was before the pandemic. Who yeah, the knows pandemic what's happened now? Shut it down. And, and wasn't it some kind of rehab center before it was a restaurant? I I don't know. But I seem to remember my mother saying it was a rehab, rehab center. Rehab center. It belonged to a doctor, and he added on to it. He added some at the back, where of the house, and that that became part of the uh, dining room from for the restaurant. But when I went up there, I've been up there two or three times. They would let. I told them I used to live there as a child, and they allowed me to just wander around all over the house. Aww. <laughs> That's yeah, it, it's apparently still open. So you can, I mean, you can Google it, the chocolate covered strawberry um, outside of Gallatin. They have a takeout menu. It's a little frou food. <laughs> yeah, that's how I describe it. it. They have cucumber sandwiches and things like that. It's not, <laughs> it's not like real food. There's no steaks there. <laughs> So, Jane, I doubt you're going to know who that other lady is with the horse and Dean. Oh, there. In that right. picture in front of the house. Who's, who's in the picture? Can you tell? 
she's probably too young to know because I think I've seen that lady in other pictures. Unless it's Ann, I have no idea. Yeah, no. Because I don't see, I don't remember people from there. Yeah, yeah. They were. 13 and a half and 12 when I was born. So, but they were, they, I didn't see too much of them. Right. Because they were all school by the time I do much memorizing. Yeah. That, now this, you know, this that, picture here is long. Go ahead. Say what? That in Yuma, I, I, Susan and Peggy. I don't, I don't remember that it. many being there once, but probably so. That's it, I think that's the picture at the top. It's yeah. just the two of them. But I have no idea who this is. Okay. Okay, and then here we go with Jane. And oh, uh, let me let me say one other thing too. Uh huh. It is it is Locky Valentic, and I noticed on the other thing you had Valentin. Okay. I knew it was wrong. I just couldn't figure out what was wrong <laughs> until I saw it written out here. That one letter, yeah, okay. It says Valentic, it's a C on the end instead of an N. Okay. And back, back in the stuff up there, you have V-A-L-E-N-T-I-N. -E okay, I'll do a word search and change it, thank you. That's not, <laughs> I mean, you have it, the right stuff, it just. Yeah, yeah, um, no, thank you. Now here, here's, I think this is, uh, let me get my thing out of the way. Yeah, here you are with Mother and Dean. Mm -hmm. So you were just tiny <laughs> when they were that age. Same old. Is that Numa? Is hmm. that Numa? What here? Or is that the farm? No, it's the farm. Yeah. No, so I think we went through all the the dates and things there. Um. And ev everything is correct, um, with the exception of Audrey. Wait a minute. Was, oh, but I'm, I'm sorry. So I'm I, I do have something else, too. Daddy had a sister who died at 16. I think that's in Bobby's file, too. She had tuberculosis, and they didn't know how to treat it. So they would send her on long, exhausting hikes in the ice cold weather and everything going on, and she died from it. Hmm. No, I've just got two on mine. I don't even have. Mm -hmm. I don't have Audrey's first. I don't remember. What was his name? He he built right. <laughs> He's the one that, that was worked for the company that built that the cabinets at my uh, house. Yeah, I can't think what his name oh, was. Oh, he built a big thing in the, he built a big thing, the television stand you used to have in the, yeah, in your. He built that too. Okay. Oh, I thought that was He Jeff. did a lot of woodworking. Hmm? She thought that no. was Joe. I don't, uh. So uh, I have I have a slow uh, internet connection when you were talking about Audrey. What did you say there, please? Again, so she had, she had a, a, a husband before Jeff. So there'd be three marriages there instead. Oh, of two. okay, okay. And I don't even have I don't even have the first one on mine either. So okay, we're sitting here trying to figure, figure yeah, out and remember it, what it his didn't name last was. very long. Well, if y'all, you know, unless you want that information, you know. She was, she was married at the, at the downtown, at the. At the courthouse. At the courthouse. Right. And they stayed married a little while, but they didn't stay married very long. She okay. was really young. 
she was really young. Hmm. And then later, these others came. And Carolyn out. had never been married either, has she? She was. She married Daryl. Daryl Martin. Yes, she was. Daryl. Okay. Daryl Martin. Yeah. And he was the father of the daughter that is still living, Samantha. In fact, he's got her in in Atlanta now. So. Okay. Okay. There are a lot. Of, there are a lot of more children. And I assume Bobby sent you <laughs> some of that. <laughs> well, we all have kids, and mine now have kids. So there's a lot of family. Yeah. Well, Brown's oh, got grandkids. It's and not I've going back so. as much as it is going forward. Uh -huh. I have fifteen grandchildren. I have fifteen grandchildren. <laughs> Five of them are married. Uh, four, of them, of them four of them have children, and some are expecting more children at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Julie, do not give her the opportunity to share pictures or we'll never be done. <laughs> I have six great-grandchildren. It's going to be eight by the end of the year. Oh, that's great. That's yeah, that's great. great. Wow. <laughs> Okay, here's something else I found. This is in Ireland, so I don't know if this is from our lineage, but um, I thought it was interesting. Is this in North Ireland or South Ireland? It's on the Shannon. Do you know where the Shannon lets out, don't you? No, not really. At Galway Bay, isn't that? Isn't that right? That's on the north? That's south, I believe. That's south. I think okay. that's right. I'm at, let me look. I it's kind of in it's kinda middle. Ireland. But at that yeah. time, we could not go to North Ireland because it was, there was still fighting going on there. And yeah, uh, our, our family came out of the north, out of the north, which was the Presbyterian area. The Catholic area was to the south. Okay. The part that is now Ireland is almost completely Catholic. Uh, according to, I asked while we were over there and we went around and stayed in people's houses on the trip that I was on, it was bed and breakfast. Bed and breakfast. And uh, I asked the man, I said, I've often heard there are no snakes in Ireland. I said, as much shipping in and out as this is done, is that still true? He said, we have only the two-legged kind. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what that means. Yeah, but it's that's interesting. All he said. <laughs> that's like interesting. What year did you go over there, Jane? <laughs> Woo. Oh, I was wrong. It's not the... Billy, when did you go? Oh, uh, it would have been 2001 or 2000. It was like two or three years before us. So it would have been the late 90s. Um, I've got pictures out here, but the, they don't have anybody in them or anything to identify when. So Jimmy and I enjoyed Ireland as much as any place we went. Oh, nice. Okay, and then here's another some information, a picture that uh, Bobby had sent me with George. A young George Washington. <laughs> you know, the thing that gets me is, have you ever met an Irishman that wasn't proud of being an Irishman? And yet, what are Irishmen known for? Fighting and drinking. <laughs> Yet they're all proud of being Irishmen. <laughs> and the uh, the ancestry thing that that I did put my DNA in says I'm ha I'm a quarter Irish. Hmm. So apparently the Irish bit was there. Yeah, Billy's daughter, Billy's daughter is a third Irish. 
Uh-huh. She gets some from her mother too, so. So the River Shannon, I was wrong. It doesn't go through Galway. That's farther north. The River Shannon goes through Limerick. To the north. It's farther south than Galway. It is. It, it goes through okay. Limerick, and that's where it exits to the Atlantic. Okay. okay. Well, I, I, the, what I heard was that they came over from the, there were two places to come out of Ireland, and they came the northern one, out of the northern one. Not out of the southern one. Two, okay. two ports that people left by. Mm -hmm. Two ports is what you're mm -hmm. saying. That people exited Ireland during the potato famine and all that stuff was going on. But and I never got to see where. There were no there were no Lowry's in the phone book when I was over there. Huh. I always so I wonder what the Irish the our Lowry's were. <laughs> I remember this was South Ireland, and they were from North Ireland, which was mainly had a lot of Scottish in it, and they were uh, uh, they were not Catholic. See, that's where a lot of the business came up. But I so I only got to go to the Catholic part, but I did enjoy that trip. I don't know if it was the Lowry's or just history that I remember reading a long time ago that a lot of the Irish came up through the South when they came here from the potato famine. So I don't know if that was the Lowry. So hopefully, Bobby, have you ever found any? Uh, I, I, I understood that they came. I can't remember the name of the place in the North, but I understood they came from there. Was it London, Derry? No. So Dublin, Dublin is Dublin, one of the big ports. Dublin that was, was almost the south. Like one of them. And then the other one was, where did you have them coming in from Ireland? <clears throat> I don't know, that's what I'm trying to look up. I don't know that I've got that notated. Here's Scotland. Scotland. And they may have been Scottish and have gone over to Ireland because when they were having problems in Ireland, the, the British sent the Scottish over there with the sheep. That's when the sheep came in because... No, Cork. Maybe it was Cork and... Uh, no, it was a, a two-letter name and it's... I mean, two, two syllable things. I've got Lazarus Lowry coming to America in 1729. And in that webpage that I put the link up to, there's, if you look up Lazarus, who's the first generation right there, there's a, a an excerpt from uh, a history of Lancaster County. My, I guess Lancaster County is in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yes, correct. I see, I see a lot of Sonic out in here, but it's, I don't think that's it. Donegal region in the U.S. Here's what he's, uh, this is, this is what Bobby has, everyone. Yeah. Can everybody see that? Uh, if you go to the notes or the chat section, the link to that is in that chat. Well, a lot of the Donegal business is in this country, too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that Donegal region is... In Ireland. Just a minute. Let me run get something. Okay. Yeah, Bobby, it is. I remember reading that somewhere along the way. And you were talking about uh, Indian traders, and that goes into a lot of, they dealt a lot in pelts and, and things that were traded with the Indians. So they obviously built, and 
what I had sent you before talked about uh, what was that uh, link with the picture with the uh, guest and uh, George Washington? Yes. That had uh, down at the bottom that uh, who was that was said had the given the Belfast. Oh, <laughs> uh, can you flip back over to that other page? Uh, well, let me see. Hold on, stop That's sharing. Yeah, hold on. Let me yeah, get. Up. I could have. I could have shown you. I was looking Belfast. at the place. I had to look at it. Belfast, Belfast is what I think the other place was. So that those are the two big cities, and Belfast has been. That's where the troubles. Actually, I, I don't know. I think it was all of a higher one. But. I always wanted to see the uh, giant causeway. Yeah, this is in Northern that. Ireland, and I couldn't ever see that. But when they went in with Great Britain, they sent the. They sent the people over from Scotland with the sheep because of the potato famine. Okay, Bobby, is this the one? Yeah, right there. Daniel Boone is generally given credit for opening Kentucky to your European settlement, but guests preceded him by more than 15 years. So. <laughs> We're not in the history books, but we should be. Right, exactly. We need to rewrite that history. <laughs> Didn't... I'll, I'll probably tell you what the difference is. Didn't Daniel Boone go to Washington? Yeah. Didn't he go to Congress? Yeah. There we that's, go. That's why he was the politician. <laughs> and he probably got help from the guests to do what he did. Yeah. yeah. To get into history books. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't see anything else. Just I, I'm sorry. I broke one of those rules of polite conversation, didn't I? I brought up politics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me go back and uh, stop sharing. I think, I think that's everything that I know. <laughs> that's not everything you know, but. <laughs> About this. Okay. Yeah, I never heard that about uh, the the uh, Papa Lowry and his affair. I'm surprised Mother didn't ever mention that. Can you imagine? Uh, can you imagine a situation where she'd want to? Well, maybe when she was, you know, getting on up in years. I don't know. Maybe we just didn't sit down and talk about it, and which I regret a just, lot. She's and and I'm thinking she did the only thing she could do, which is she completely put it out of her mind and memory. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, what? The the affair that granddaddy had. She just put it out of mind and memory and just moved on. I mean that's all that's all she could have done. Well, like they, they 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 did where they were with what they had. Yeah. Okay, this has been great. Does anybody have any questions? Anything they want to pick Jane's brain for? Thank you so much for doing this. It's been, it has I been great. Ask her where she put, I want to ask her where she put those watches that she lost Christmas about <laughs> 10 years ago. Where are they? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I was hoping magically she'd be remembering today. And <laughs> She has some watches or something. We always joke about it. So. Does, yeah. does everybody? I put. I put. Some, I had some stocking stuffers when the grandkids were all little that I had put back somewhere. They've never been. They've never resurfaced. So. <laughs> I keep expecting to find them at the back of the dryer or something with the lost socks. All right. <laughs> does, does I can't imagine have... all the work that went into does this. Everybody... I thank you yeah. for that. Oh, you're welcome. Sure. I mean, Bobby was a big help too. So kudos to well, him. Well, I was about to say, going forward, getting information out, does does everybody have a Facebook or a way to access? I was trying to think of a 
platform that we could put stuff that everybody could keep up with it. You could set up a Facebook group. Yeah, I could set up people, a Facebook a group. A private and, group and uh, just include family members. We can in, include family members and they can add information and that way everybody gets everything that's going on. Do we have I've, any uh, option of besides Facebook? Because I don't do Facebook. Okay, that's why I was asking. If you don't do Facebook, There's, I can... It, if you'll forward information to me, I'll upload it to that website I've got. There and, we go. And uh, I'll just add a resource page and we can just, you know, add pictures and information and. Okay, sure. Okay, that's great. I'll, I will um, make some revisions of what was brought up and shoot that to you. And then. Um, okay. Uh, what else was I going to say? Um, I can't remember now. Are you going to put a PowerPoint copy on an email as an attachment or? I can do that can too. You... Yeah. And then and Bobby was talking about he could put it on his link also for future reference, but I'll send that. I, and then I'm going to um, the recording. Uh, at least the last time I made a recording when we did the Groth side, um, I had to put it on a flash drive and send it out. So unless I can figure out, because it depends on how big it is, I think. How is it an audio file or a video file? I don't remember, Mark. Do you remember what it was? It was video, for okay. sure. Yeah. Video, I've got a, I can put it on my YouTube channel and uh, I can share it on the website. You know, I tried YouTube. I'm trying to remember what happened. Maybe it was YouTube I put it on. And then I sent Mark and Nita. Well, if, if you don't upload enough, they won't let you upload a file above, I think, a gig. And if this is an hour, hour and a half, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a gig and a half or two gig file on video. But uh, I've got a I won't say a pro version, but I do all the video broadcast at church, so I've got enough history with YouTube they'll up, let me upload any size file. Okay. Well, let me see uh, what how big it turns out to be, and then we'll go from there. I'll keep in touch okay. with you. Great. Thank you. you just let me know, and I'll, I'll get that uploaded. Okay. What's Jane looking at? She's still she, looking at Ireland. <laughs> she's got the encyclopedia, the I encyclopedia, and she's looking at the map of Ireland. What's an encyclopedia? <laughs> <laughs> She's the only one that would know that. It's old I got this when Bobby was in junior high school. You see how old it was? It, it's old school but Wikipedia. But it takes care of Ireland for me. <laughs> there are a lot of things that are still the same. <laughs> okay, if nobody has anything else. Thank you for setting this up, and it was good to see everybody. Yeah. yeah, good to see all yeah, of you. Yeah, you too. Yeah. We'll Thank see you later. You Take care. Bye, everyone. Love you guys. Bye. Now I gotta, I gotta find the lead button. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. See y'all.